It's experimentation day. Hear, hear me out on this thought, okay? Just hear me out on this. I bought this from Maritime Knife Supply, and this is 1090 powder. And when this is forge welded together and etched, look how cool that is. It's so fine. It's dark. This is a piece of 15N20. This, when etched, is shiny bright. This is what Damascus steel is typically made of, these two materials. We take this piece of steel, and I use my new fancy fiber laser, and I essentially either cut through it, a crazy pattern, or I engrave very deeply, and then we take the powder, and we put it inside these cavities, canister it up, gently weld it together, forge weld it, grind etch it, and we're gonna have these crazy patterns that are forge welded in, so it's like Damascus steel or pattern welded steel, I don't know what you call this, but I wanna try this because wouldn't this be cool if it would work? <laughs> Let's head over to the fiber laser and get a pattern figure. This is the uh, Ohm Tech 80 watt fiber laser. If you're interested in one, I'll put the link down below and take a look at their website. They got lots of cool lasers. Just trying to play with the ideas here. I think this is the size we're gonna try and uh, we'll burn it in and then go from there. This is it finished up here. And this cutting to do that is about six hours. And I did it on this side as well. So it's been running for a bit. <laughs> but it's okay because uh, I'm doing other things while that's happening. But check out, check out how cool that looks. Let's see how deep I got. It's interesting that it didn't actually cut even depth across it. So on the deep side here, that's 63 thou. Here, which is the shallow spot, it's 42. I don't think I can get it. Uh, yeah, it's about the same on that, a little shorter. And then I think this, oh yeah, this side is the shallow side. 45, yeah, so this is gonna be shallow at 30 thou. So we'll see how that works out. But what we're gonna do now is prep a canister and then put all the powder in there and then weld it up and see if this works. This is the piece in the middle, and this is the canister. I made it pretty thick because the coal forge is a little bit tricky to weld, and I only got one shot on this. Essentially, I just want to heat it up and weld it like this, squish it once. These are stainless steel foil. And I thought, man, that would help keep this from welding onto the middle. I guess it'd actually be the powder. That would be ideal. So we're gonna see if that helps us or not. This is the fly press here. It's got this really steep pitched thread and then these weights. And I've got this block set up here. That's gonna fall out as soon as I move it so that the gap is set up right. So I can slide the billet in 
I'll pull the handle back. Block will fall out. Now give it a squish. And this hopefully will set the weld 100% across it and have uh, as little distortion on that pattern as possible. The reason I'm not using the power hammer, because I'm in haste to get that weld to set so fast, if I overhit it, it could really distort the pattern. So this is, I think, going to be the best bet. The only downer is it is a bit of a run from the forge, but um, we're just going to do the best we can. so scary that was two heats so I went to the fly press two times it's hard for me to know if I got that but there's no way to check I just let her cool off and then we'll see though the heat was good when I came out but the run and then the fiddle faddle there I don't know but we'll let it cool off I guess and then we'll see I'm surprised how much it compressed yeah, hard for me to know if I should do one more or not. Nope, I'm gonna leave it. While that's cooling off, I wanna tell you about today's sponsor, which is Squarespace. The one-stop shop for building your online website. I guess all websites are online. Your website. Squarespace, name to fame, is easy to get started and look professional right out of the gate. Whatever kind of website you need, Squarespace has great templates. Grab one of those templates, drop it in, get running. If you wanna tweak anything a little bit with Fluid Engine, you can shuffle things around. E-commerce website, all the stuff you need to get selling, inventory management, shipping labels, payment management. You're looking to set up an online course. Squarespace has all the tools for you to be able to instigate that. Head over to Squarespace, dot com slash timd and that'll give you 10 percent off your first purchase thank you squarespace for sponsoring this video it's a little warm i'm really excited I, yeah let's cut it let's cut It's crazy that you can see the bandsaw cuts on that original piece of steel on the inside and it looks like there's been zero oxidization. It's just very cool to see that canister work so well. Thought it would just break apart. Stainless steel foil in there, but I guess not. I can see the layers on, the, oh yeah, you can see the, okay. So what do we do now? Do we just grind the living fiddly faddle out of it? The fiddly faddle? I guess so. I just gotten into, I think it was the stainless steel foil here. So this is the powder and it, it looks solid so far. So that's awesome. And now I just gotta be really careful. I don't go too far. <laughs> Okay, 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 okay. You gotta check it out, you gotta check it out. Oh, I hope you can see this. Uh, I don't know where it went, I can't see it anymore. Maybe the heat or something? Okay, but I, I think this, oh, this could work. This could work. All right, so I've got it up to 400. We're just gonna do a quick etch here in ferric and see if we can see anything. I can't remember if I diluted this or not. Whoa! Can you see that? What? 
No! This is crazy. Looks like there's some grease on there maybe. What is going on here? No way! No way! Yeah, that's gotta be some grease. Hang on, I gotta try to clean this thing better. So this is so crazy that I think it actually worked. Rough Edge, I think this blotchy stuff is grease or something like that because you can see the pattern underneath it faintly. But then this corner right here, that almost looks like that didn't weld right there. I think I actually cut a bit of the pattern off on this end. Way cool. You can see if you look really close, you can see a little bit of bulging on the triangulars, but actually surprisingly little. It's pretty crisp considering. So I'm gonna clean up the other side and then we'll try to get like a really good etch on it. This might actually be something. New pants, new shirt, new day, new Tim. <laughs> hey, I get the question um, what, the, what the brand is of the jackets that I wear in the shop. They're uh, Anion. Anion is a Canadian company. I've been wearing their stuff for whew, years now. It's awesome. It's from post-consumer material. I like that. Uh, most of them are wool, not all of them. This is, this is wool. It's thick weave. This is the Jericho. It's got the snaps on it. Well, anyways, if you want to take a look at them, friends of mine, just check it out. So what's really important about this all is that we can harden this material and like nothing pops out or anything like that. So I'm gonna go for a heat treat here and I'm gonna wrap it up in this foil just to try to keep it from oxidizing as bad because I've ground it already. Let's see if this actually works. So here it is out of the quench. I had to take off the uh, stainless steel foil. I just felt like it was affecting the rate at which it was cooling and that it wasn't getting quenched hard enough. Take this and temper it. Doesn't look like anything's popped out of there, which is good. You can see some of the pattern there. A little bit. Not on this side though. Anyways, let's get in the temper oven and then we'll clean it up. This is where we're at. Check this out. I spent a couple hours with this thing trying to etch it. I just am not very good at etching. I've just really struggled to get that shiny 15N20 in the dark 1090. I was doing a diluted ferric chloride to get that contrast and you can really feel it. Like it does feel, you know, and then I did an overnight coffee etch and it just, it looks dirty, but I mean, it does look pretty cool. Aside from the cracks that we got in here, and this not being as shiny as I wanted, it worked. This is this is dark in here, the 1090, but it's a little bit splotchy. As I was working on it last night, I was like, man, I wish I could get more contrast. I wanted it shiny and dark, and I wanted it to erode more, and then I'm like, man, why don't I just use the laser to deepen the engraving, and then I could just put some gun bluing in there and making it dark. And I was like, yeah, that would work. And then I'm like, why have you tried to make this to be Damascus steel? Why don't you just, Engrave it a little bit deep, put some gun blue in there, put it on the belt sander, all 15 and 20 and call her done. Wouldn't that be a great idea? So let me introduce you to this piece which took a fraction of the time, like a fraction of the time. And I think if I was being honest, it actually looks better than doing the deep engraving, the powder, the welding, the sanding, the polishing, the etching, Forget it all. <laughs> what am I doing? This looks, this looks really cool. It's 100% not Damascus steel. It's not pattern welded steel, which 
I have a hard time with because originally that's what I wanted out of this, but this, this looks, this looks cool. I bet you could do heat treat before the laser because I don't think the laser actually creates that much heat. I haven't tried that, that'll be fun to try, but that would eliminate the cracking situation. Like, this is way easier at a fraction of the time. So this experiment, I just unraveled it. Ah. <laughs> I'm disappointed that it's not like a Damascus steel on forge welding. However, I still think this concept is cool enough that I want to pursue putting that into a knife or an ax or something like that. It just won't be Damascus steel. So yeah, I think that concludes the experiment. Um, let me know your thoughts. I want to know what you think about this all. And if you want to see me try to push on this envelope of this idea, uh, I'd like to do that. Just give this video a like, and if you haven't subscribed, please do that. And let's, let's go to the moon. Not, not literally, but like, let's keep pushing on this idea. Just not Damascus steel or padded welded steel, I think. Unless, unless I missed something. I'm, let me know. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Always nice to hang out. Hope you're doing well. Look forward to seeing you in the next video. Till then, keep the forge lit, hey? Uh, Timmy.